Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's me, Tommy, again. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. And I came across this one video where I thought it was just one of those videos that was honestly good to see. Now, to kind of sum this up before I show you guys this video, this guy walks into a store, I guess the owner of this bicycle, and finds the guy who stole his bicycle. Now, I don't know exactly how he found him. He says that he knows for a fact that this is his bike. He knows for a fact that you stole it. And, you know, I'm here to freaking do something about it <laughs> but how this turns out like the turn of events you would think like the owner of this guy who like owns the bike would like probably snap and maybe try beating this dude's ass or something like that some gta shit but no this actually takes a quick turn and he actually ends up trying to help the guy who stole his bike he says listen man you know i'll offer to take you to work i'll offer you know to let you use the bike but I just hate when people steal my shit and this guy's not wrong. I remember as kids, man, we always got our bike stolen, but you know, that was kind of our fault because we would always literally leave it out front. We would never put it on the side of the house or in the yard. It would constantly always get stolen. So I kind of feel for this guy. So nowadays you have to like chain your shit ups or like lock your shit up so you don't get stolen. But I'll tell you what, there's nothing more worse than a thief. There really isn't. So let's watch this video and uh, kind of get a better idea of what happened. But the way this turned out, it just shows that there's still good people out there and yeah I just, wait until you see this so let's take a take a look at this hey you riding that bike out there yeah. where'd you get it stolen from my house bullshit you've had it stolen from my house two weeks ago i'm calling the police right oh, now brother man. call the police right now you want to give it back you want me to call the police which I'll one do i paid 10 bucks for it well who would you pay 10 bucks for i'm calling the police let's move right. out of here so we don't bother the store people because i'm calling the police pick, pick a drink. i paid 10 bucks for it now you got me sure as hell you didn't use that 10 bucks for a freaking bike <laughs> I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't say that, but let's be honest. Like, th this makes no sense. You're using 10 bucks kind of like as an excuse to like say, hey, you know, I paid 10 bucks for it. This is legit. This is legit my bike. 10 bucks, bro, you're probably freaking lying. <laughs> like, this makes no sense. <laughs> you're damn right I'm taking it. So you gotta watch out for your friends, man, because you're gonna get you in trouble. I literally paid ten bucks just to get back and forth to work. But I don't, ugh, you motherfucker. Can I take? Sorry, sorry, dude. Can I take down your number then? I don't want to cause you not to get to work. Where's my bike got stolen. Right when we the second time it's got stolen. I know it's my bike. I built it. Have witnesses. Have the serial number at home. So I'm willing to take down your number, Bob, so you can get to work. But I need my bike back. So I don't want to take it right now if you really are using it for work. But how's that gonna be? I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take it now, but I want your number so I can get it eventually when we can arrange a bike for you. I, I, I know, but I'm saying I'll let you, I, since I know it's for work, I will, I'm willing to let you continue to borrow. What a good, decent gentleman right here. Like, it just, just shows that there's still good people in this humanity shit world. <laughs> like, it really, it really shows that, wow, this guy has a kind, caring heart. But at the same time, this guy came in hot. This guy, you could tell the way his freaking face was and the way he walked in that room. This probably isn't the guy that you want to steal shit from. <laughs> but, listen, hey, the fact that he's trying to work with this dude, um, it shows that, hey, you know, anything's possible, right? So, we need more people like this. And, you know, but when you see videos like this, it does show that there is good kind decency still out there so but props to this guy I, I really hope that this guy at least really you know returned the bike because if he didn't that would just totally suck because now this guy probably never will trust anyone again <laughs> but holy shit this definitely took a turn of events are we as long as we keep in touch and then we'll, we'll find you a bike because i have a bike at home i'm working on so once i get that one going then i'll be fine to let you have it but i just can't let it go by so we'll so he's making another bike at home and he's gonna once that's done he's gonna give the current bike that is stolen back to the guy who stole it wow holy shit what a gentleman god we need if, imagine if everyone was like this in the world god we'd be in such a fucking better place if you have a number and, and we'll exchange numbers right now and, I, and i'm fine dude i didn't mean to come in yelling at you but it's pissed me off you know having your shit stolen no. you know <laughs> it just pissed me off having your shit stolen. I know that feeling, man. Like I said, there's nothing worse more than a fucking thief. <laughs> nothing worse. But like I said, 10 bucks for a bike and he thought it was legit. $10 says he stole it himself. That's the excuse. <laughs> but listen, I'm really impressed by this guy. I really am. And like I said, 
the rare occasion that you bump into a human pretty much with a good heart and principles is fucking rare. But you know what? They're still out there. So like I said, the original owner that owns this bicycle seems to be a very good person. He really does. And like I said, I built it. I built this thing golden with the serial number and everything golden this guy must build bikes or something because he said to the guy hey you know i i'm building a bike right now i'll let you have you know this stolen bike but you know you gotta work with me here man especially if you're going to work but you can tell there's kind of something wrong with the guy who stole it i don't know exactly what but like i said he probably wouldn't have used the 10 bucks to buy a bike if he had the opportunity and who's really selling a bike for 10 bucks <laughs> But the guy was so nice and had so much like compassion to him. Like I said, I, I I would have probably just called the cops and ended the discussion. But this guy went out of his way to really help this guy. So shows that there's still good people out there. Just wanted to show you guys this quick video. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. The point of this video, I guess you could say is, hey, why am I making this video? The point I would say is be kind out there. Be nice to people. Hold the door for people. Always ask people how they're doing. And guys, I'll check you guys out later. Have a wonderful day. Peace.